we'll move to a different, <coughs> slightly different subject now with Mr. Lee from Guangzhou Scientific Computing Consultants. Uh, Mr. Lee will talk about nonlinear dynamic analysis in earthquakes, and uh, he will present some interesting results from actual uh, readings on uh, some prominent pro projects in China and Shanghai and the World Financial Center in Junta. Would you please welcome Mr. Lee. Thank you, Mr. Sadi. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, today, my uh, presenta presentation topic is nonlinear dynamic earthquake analysis of skyscraper. The content here is uh, first is introduction, and next uh, talking about uh, an analysis procedure then nonlinear models and integration scheme, earthquake records and damping ratio, beta plus a backup program to as an analyze tool to do the analyze. Next is restructure judgment and evaluation. And then select tip project. Finally I draw a conclusion on this topic. As all we know, the skyscraper go into a plastic range under desired intensity earthquake level. Currently, no practical, practical tools to do the real-time simulation in engineering desktop. People just use the reduced desired intensity earthquake level to perform elastic analysis. However, this method cannot guarantee the safety and economy under desired intensity earthquake level. For example, a regular 30-story building, uh, which 100 meters tall, a cold wall frame structure with elastic design and sesame fortification measure. Here is the typical frame, typical plan of the building and the perspective view of the building. The building here, uh, out frame structure inside is cold wall structure. The thickness of the bottom core is uh, 350 meters meters. Stress ratio of shear wall at bottom is 0.5 and the richer scale is 7. Peak ground acceleration is 2.2 and reduced earthquake intensity elastic analyzed result comprised to the Chinese design code and the seismic fortification measure are applied. So according to the uh, code of pre uh, prescription design, the design is okay. But the simulation of the building under rare earthquakes shows that. Look at the, the bottom of the cold wall. It, it happens a practice, big practice form come up here and crap this side and crap both sides. And finally, the building collapsed because of the gravity law. And when you zoom in, uh, zoom in the bottom core of the reinforcement reinforcement core, we can see that more detail of how the uh, uh, core wall collapse under earthquake. The damage occur here, very large deformation, and then this side, finally collapse the building. So from this example, we can know that the nonlinear dynamic analysis is mandatory. However, we know this uh, has been an open problem for a long time. Why? Because the problem just too complex to, show, to be solved by the computer at desktop. So we have to use the simplified model, say plastic hinge model to for beam and column, shear walls simplify as a light element instead. Or sometimes even the static push over analyze use. So this is uh, the, the, the nonlinearity of the member, line member. Here is the plastic hinge and the uh, PM and curve of the of use. However, this uh, kind, such kind of result is not reliable 
because the result is sen very sensitive to the property of structural nonlinearities. Say, we don't know what's the, uh, uh, exactly what's the plastic lens, for example, yeah. For this PM and curve, we don't know what's the, uh, after the column, uh, Yield was the dynamic feature, uh, cyclic feature of the build of the light element. So, so here the solution is we adopt a more appropriate analyzed procedure, use the accurate nonlinear uh, model for the structural members, remove the material nonlinearity sensitive issue, and efficient uh, dynamic equation integrated screen, which is explicit screen can solve a large problem. The appropriate square record are used. So we improve the previous example design. We increase the thickness of block ten core to 500 millimeters. And then the stretch ratio of the core wall will pull down to uh, 0.35. And this time we run a simulation of the building. This is the bottom two story of the building. You can see that uh, the core wall works fine and no uh, large uh, large plastic deformation come up here, yeah. Although it has some minor uh, damage. So let's talk about the analyze pr procedure. So two major steps run in tandem. First is graphic load analyze according to the construction sequence. Here we use the element kills and activate. Uh, technique to model the construction sequence. The next is uh, uh, doing the earthquake analysis. Uh, sometimes it comes in two direction and sometimes uh, with vertical earthquake as well. Laminia, uh, geometric laminarity and material laminarity are both included in the model. Uh, for steel, we use the isotropic kinematic hardening model single effect is included. For uh, concrete, we use the plastic damage model. Here is the tension and compression. The strength of the compression is too much, is much larger than the tension. And the stiffness degrees, here degrees, uh, when you go into plastic range, it degrees. The stiffness recovers when it reverses from tension to compression. Here for line member element, we use the plastic zone measure to model the line element. Here the linearity of the member is represented by the integration of the fibers material linearity. So in this end. And the line members goes into plastic graduate in session no, and longitude direction. For Shear element, we use concrete shear wall, we use shear plus uh, plastic damage concrete material. For uh, steel shear wall, we use shear plus steel material. In here, uh, it's sometimes the uh, shear wall has built in column and built in brace, you use this model to analyze it. And we can uh, combine the rebar in the concrete reinforcement as well. Limbing are the major energy dissipation member in core wall frame structure. Usually it's high, it's high span ratio is very large. So we model the limbing as a shear element to uh, take into account the shear and the fractional and actual interaction, which is uh, accurate. So here is an example, uh, uh, except from a real building, one story building, is showing the, how we match the beam column and slab and the wall. From this picture, you can see that uh, actually from uh, on the line element and shear element level, here is a, can be considered as a numerical except, except. Uh, integration screen, uh, for implicit skin, we use a reverse, uh, re you have to re reverse the stiffness much as at each time step. It's difficult to converse when negative stiffness occur. Uh, for explicit skin, stable time increments very small and suitable for larger and highly nonlinear problem. From this figure, we can see that uh, explicit skin is much faster than 
in this screen, which is the case for our analysis of skyscraper. So it's this screen is going to use. And for skyscraper, uh, the period is normally is very long for, for a second, and there is strong spectrum of the earthquake because should comply with the co uh, specific design spectrum very often. The artificial earthquake record which comply with cold spectrum should be used. And damping for concrete use 5% and steel use 2%. The tools we use are beta building, called building elastic plastic time history analyzed. Uh, the program is developed on top of a Baker's platform. Suitable for, to do elastic and elastic plastic analyze for all kinds of structures, such as steel structure, steel concrete mix structures, and concrete structure. You can transfer the structure data, such as geometric material, elastic process, member sessions, and reinforcement to the backers input that. Uh, set the laminar analysis parameter control. And set the laminar material parameter for steel and concrete. And develop a concrete user subroutine for 3D beam element, which is not available in Abacus and other general purpose FEA code today. And post process the super large analyzed result, produce analyzed report for skyscraper. The flow chart of data here is the data is coming from the structural design package and transfer to ETAPS. Beta is going to uh, accept data from ETAPS to Abacus interactive with applicants to solve the problem. Result judgment and evaluation. With this measure, the result judgment is very straightforward. Yeah. Just see first, uh, the structure should hold integrity after completion of analyze. Yeah, this basic requirement. And further, the data factor should be less than the value prescribed by FEMA. So some critical structure members should remain in elastic stage. Select projects. The first one I saw here is Shanghai World Financial Center, which is a high tallest building in China. It's uh, 492 meters high. Uh, all structure members here are modeled by corresponding element, including the uh, subbin and the slab as well. 600,000 degrees of freedom use. Analyze time is uh, 30 hours. Here is the view of the building and uh, showing the simulation of the building under a real earthquake. So you can see that uh, the higher more of the buildings it's not allowed to, uh, it's not, cannot uh, leg rate, yeah, very high mode. And the uh, roof displacement time of the buildings maximum is uh, 1.6 meters. And China Center, Central Television Tower, this one, the, the top, two slant tower connect at the top, uh, the cantilever is hung by eight elevation frame. Actually, some columns are in tension under gravity law. This is what it means. Here is the simulation of the building under real earthquake. Here is vertical. We input three dimension earthquake record. So why by in three dimension in the same time. We can see that as in some uh, Fire up in us, there's some place is uh, going to long linear buckling here. The so red car means that the material is going to plastic and the geometric going to plastic as well. They're combined together. Uh, Guangdong Museum, so Guangzhou, this building looks like a treasure box. Uh, the cold steel wall are the only gravity and horizontal low resistance structure members. You see this one? Yeah, the cantilever. It's uh, 25 meters at both sides. Lower story are hanged from the tip of the cantilever frame. The top is cantilever frame. Yeah. So the ductility of the shield wall is uh, 
increase with the introduction of concrete field till column built in the shear wall. Here is the simulation of building under real earthquake. Uh, we can see some uh, some members going to uh, buckling yeah. basin, and uh, some uh, shear wall is going to plastic as well. Here is the final stage of the core wall, the damage of the core wall. So, yeah. Next project is West Tower in Guangzhou. The, the height of building is uh, 435 meters. It's the landmark building of Guangzhou. So low part is office, up part is hotel. The outer frame is a concrete field till diagram. Inner core is a shield wall structure. So the critical for this building is the strength of the law should be uh, stronger than the member. Otherwise, the building is quite, is quite. Here is the structure of the building. Here we can see in the middle, this transfer floor, the vertical uh, low transfer. You can see the, 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 the shape of the knot. In here, the section of the knot is much smaller than the sum of the two members. So uh, the, the column is, uh, member is made of the outside is concrete tail, inside is concrete. Here is the simulation of a building and the real earthquake. Yeah, after building, fin after finished NS, the building still stand still. So you can say that if it's defined, the building is safe. And here is the simul doing in the transfer floor to see what's happening inside in the concrete wall, whole wall. You can see some damage occur in the transfer floor because the stiffness, later in stiffness change. But still safe, yeah. Here, so in the, the big angle cross low, uh, we model, we, we fix up this tube end and then uh, displacement on, on this side, both sides, and we'll see what's happening. Oh, sorry. Here, you can see the uh, member bulge first and then the not still. Uh, still keep the same shape, so you can see that bulge of the pool. So the, we can make conclusion that the strength of the law is stronger than the column. You can see that. And for small angle law, this time is, uh, we see that the, the, the locks is bulge first and then the members bulge later. So, so the strength of noise is weaker than column. Here is, uh, after I improved, the, we improved the design, increase the thickness of the tube in the locks, and analyze again. You can see that the strength of the lock is neither stronger than the column. Because yeah. for earthquake design, the, one of the principles is the lock should be stronger than the member. Next project is Jinta, Tianjin, which is 350 meters high. Uh, the major lateral system is slender steel shield wall, which is the highest uh, skyscraper to use this form of lateral system. Uh, about 700,000 degree of freedom. And that's uh, used, yeah. The nonlinear buckling of the steel shield wall is the model, is model accurate in the whole structural model. Here is the, the plan of the building and the session and elevation of the building. Here are some result of the, the shear, uh, steel shear wall and the earthquake and it, uh, occur long linear buckling. This is going into plastic and uh, buckling as well. Here is the simulation of the building under real earthquake. Uh, the 
the building has four auriga story. This project is Huayan Hotel. It's 210 meters high. Low part is concrete structure, up part is steel structure. The lateral stiffness changed dramatically at the upper part. So for this building, nonlinear dynamic analysis is critical. Here, yeah, showing the sim simulation of building under real earthquake. Mm, last one, showing the uh, high-rise residential building under real earthquake. Good, uh, two minutes. So finally, I draw a conclusion. So nonlinear dynamic earthquake analysis it with numerical except, except uh, nonlinear model for skyscraper is uh, practical now. And the expected gain to integrate the dynamic equation is a feasible measure to solve the large and complicated mo problems with the complex and numerical except model used to model the nonlinearity at stretch strain level. As the stress strain level nonlinear model is used, the results sensitive to the material nonlinearity and earthquake record is much less significant compared to other simplified model. And the beta plus abacus solution is a practical way to implement the nonlinear dynamic earthquake analysis. Uh, actually, you are in our company. Uh, we use this uh, kind of measure at all analyze uh, more than 20 projects uh, a year during the past two years. Yeah, yeah so uh, it's practical. We just uh, use it in the initial stage, not after the project at design and do it uh, later text. So it's good for uh, the st structural plan. Yeah. As the more the building more com more com become more and more complex, just like showing the uh, shape and with this technique we can help the architect to uh, build more funny shape model. Thank you. <laughs>